Welcome everyone. Today we're going to talk about making PDFs from Adobe InDesign. And this is a pretty straightforward process, but there are some options that you might need to know. So on my screen, I have a document for my digital design class. And this one is all about using different free image resources. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to just create a PDF of this file. So the first PDF is one I would just use for on screen viewing. So that way people can look at it, can use it and things like that. So in InDesign, you're just going to go to file. You're going to go to export and you're going to go under our options and we have two different options here we have pdf interactive and pdf print so i'm going to get this one ready for pdf print and i'm going to go ahead and hit save and this is where our export adobe pdf dialog box opens up now there's a lot of different settings in here but let me show you the easiest way to get started adobe has already made a bunch of pdf presets so we have the high quality print we have the PDFX, and these are international standards for running things on press. So if you need to use those, you would your printer would tell you, hey, use these. There is press quality, and then there's smallest file size. So for most of my uses, I just keep it on high quality print, and I would go ahead and just click export. And with that high quality print setting, let me go to my file here. I'm going to get a nice PDF file ready to go and I would just deliver this to my clients. So if I had a lot of images and it was really big, I might choose that smallest file size or get in there and play. But for most uses, that works 100 percent. Now, there are some times that this use doesn't work. So let's jump back to our file. Sometimes, let's say I was going to actually get this printed at a service bureau. Well, I have a full bleed document set up here. So if I go to my preview, you'll notice this red line, which goes past my trim line, shows where my bleeds are. So I would have to send this with my full bleed settings. So let's go ahead and let's re-export this one again. Export. And I can go ahead and hit save. I'm going to replace that file. So if I was going to send this to a printing bureau, I would probably want to switch this over to the press quality. I would also want to make sure this document includes those bleeds because I'd want them to trim it off. So that way I have a beautiful looking printout. So now over here on the left, we got to choose some different settings. We want to go into marks and bleeds. We want to say use document bleed settings, and then we can go ahead and export. Now, one of the things on press quality before I export, one of the things it does in press quality is it actually goes under output. It actually converts your document to CMYK. So if you have RGB images, it's going to go ahead and convert all those. So let's go ahead and let's just hit export. Flip over to that file. So here's our file here. It's about the same size. If I open it up, it is going to look about the same. It is slightly bigger. And you can verify this by going to your document properties. And here it actually say it's 8.75 by 11.25. So it does have the bleed there. So if I was going to send this to a service bureau, it would look great. I would have no, no worries about that. Now, Something you may have noticed on my file, I do have interactive elements. All of these are actually clickable links, so that way my students can open this PDF and they can actually click on things. In my last version of the PDF, you'll notice none of these links actually work. So if you want to make your links work, we have to do something a little bit different. There's two ways to turn on interactive elements inside of, inside of InDesign. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to export. We can choose print or we can choose interactive. So let me just show you print real quick. And again, if I was going to do print, I'd probably choose high quality. Down here on the general pane, we can choose to include things like hyperlinks or bookmarks or 
you can go the easier route. The easier route would be to export and choose the interactive option. Now the interactive option has a different dialog box. So it's the export to interactive PDF. It's pared down a little bit. We right here have all our different viewing options. Our compression has changed a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and export. Now in this case, it is going to, instead of going to CMYK, it will transfer my document over to make sure it's RGB and it's giving me a warning right now saying, hey, this document was made for CMYK, you're going to RGB and that is perfectly fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. It is taking care of my image and there we go. Now you'll notice each one of my links will work on this PDF file. So three different options I've already gone over, making a PDF just for general viewing, making a PDF with bleeds and outputting it to a printer, and making an interactive PDF. Now I have one more that I'd like to talk about. So for this example, for the technical college, I have a brochure we made. This brochure is four pages long it is set up as two spreads. So it goes page two and three, if you look at my pages panel, and page four and five. Now, exporting spreads is a little bit different. So we're gonna get this one ready to go to a service bureau. And being that it's front and back, we're gonna export the spreads and we're gonna turn on all of our bleeds and everything. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna hit file, export, and I'm gonna put it right in that folder, yes. So here, I'm gonna choose my settings. So if it's press quality, I'm gonna go ahead and choose press quality. I'm gonna go ahead again, I'm gonna to go to marks and bleeds. I'm gonna use the document bleed settings. I'm also gonna turn on all the printer marks. You would ask what the Service Bureau wants, but in my classroom, if I wanna make sure you're doing things correctly, I'm gonna tell you, turn on all the printer marks. Then, go back to general. And under pages, we are going to change this. We're not gonna export as pages. We are going to export as spreads. So spreads is gonna make it look exactly what I have on the screen. If I did individual pages, it would be page two, page three, and it would just be individual pages. So we want spreads. We're gonna go ahead and click export. Jump over and grab that file. Still working, I know it's working because I can see the little blue wheel spinning in InDesign. So as soon as that's done, we'll take a look at that file. There we go. So here's my final file, ready for a service bureau to print. I know it's press ready. You guys can see my marks here. So I have my trim lines, my bleed lines, I have my slug, and I have everything else. So. We have all of our information, and this to me would be a PDF file that is ready to go showing spreads and all of the printer marks. So some very easy things about making PDFs, just make sure in my class you're giving me the right thing and make sure if you're sending it somewhere to be printed, you follow what they need to work on their machines because every place is different and has different requirements.